Morgan Stanley is a global financial services firm and a market leader in investment banking, securities, investment management, and wealth management services. With the recent acquisition of E-Trade, we now have a total of $3.5 trillion of assets under management. If 2020 taught us anything, it's that we can't predict the future. Our systems held up through record trading volumes. We serviced our clients without interruption, and our employees quickly adjusted to work from home, all in an industry that had never planned for a scenario like a pandemic. What did change is how we're thinking about technology now. We are discussing even more flexible work accommodations and have new perspective on how we think about systems resiliency under unexpected circumstances. During the early day spikes, we had to shift workload around to make capacity available to critical systems. This is where the public cloud came in. Some of the biggest consumers of our plant are the applications which calculate risk for the business through compute intensive complex simulations. When trade volumes rise, additional capacity is needed. Being able to offload workload to AWS helped us relieve some of the pressure, enabling us to give more capacity to on-premise applications. We learned a ton of detail about the nature of the AWS infrastructure as a service offerings, in particular EC2 spot and on-demand availability. The ability to offload work to AWS not only relieved the pressure on the current on-premise plant, but also provided the ability to scale up on demand. This gives us the option to add many new scenarios, which is extremely valuable to the business. Off the back of this experience, we're looking to transform other parts of our large trading systems so they too can take advantage of the elasticity which compute products like EC2 provide.